Hi, uh, in today's lecture, we are going to solve two very good questions based on factorials and uh, divisibility. Uh, let us have a look at the first question. Uh, when 39 factorial is divided by 41, we need to find the remainder. So, which theorem we need to apply here? So, we have to use Wilson's theorem when uh, a question involves factorials. So, Wilson's theorem says that, so P minus 1 factorial plus 1 when divided by P, the remainder equal to 0. This is Wilson's theorem. Let us substitute P equal to 41 here because 41 is a prime number so that we can apply Wilson's theorem here. So, when you substitute P equal to 41 here, which will give you 40 factorial plus 1 divided by 41 which is equal to 0. But we need to find when 39 factorial is divided by 41. But how to simplify this? We need to use the modular arithmetic here. Please refer to that video modular arithmetic. So, here this is the dividend and this is the remainder. So, in the modular arithmetic, we can apply additions on the both sides for the dividend as well as the remainder. You can subtract, you can uh, you can multiply both these dividend and remainder with a number and also you can raise them to certain power. So, what I will do here is I will take this plus 1 to the other side. So, 40 factorial when divided by 41 will give you a remainder of minus 1. And again, please refer to that video uh, on negative remainder theorem. Uh, now, 40 factorial can be written as 40 into 39 factorial whole divided by 41 which is equal to minus 1. When 40 divided by 41 will give you minus 1 as a remainder. So, minus 1 into 39 factorial whole divided by 41 equal to minus 1 as a remainder. Now, minus 1 goes one time here. Therefore, 39 factorial when divided by 41 the remainder equal to 1. So, a very elegant way of solving by using the Wilson's theorem. Uh, without uh, this Wilson's theorem, this question is very difficult to solve. Let us have a look at the next question. In this question, we need to find the remainder when 18 factorial is divided by 437. But we need to check whether 437 is a prime number or not. So, how do we check whether a number is prime number or not? You have to take a perfect square slightly greater than 437. So, check 21, 21 square is 441, right? So, 21 square is 441. Now, we have to take all the prime numbers below 21 and divide 437. Check whether 437 is a prime number or not. So, the prime number just below 21 is 19. So, let us divide 437 by 19 and check whether this is a prime number or not. So, 19 goes 2 times 37, uh, 38 sorry, 57 which goes 3 times. Oh, great. So, 437 is not a prime number. 437 is a product of two numbers 19 into 23. Therefore, we need to find the remainder when 18 factorial is divided by two numbers 19 into 23. First, let us divide 18 factorial by 19 and check for the remainder. Uh, which theorem again we need to apply? 19 is a prime number so that we can apply the Wilson's theorem here. So, Wilson's theorem again says that P minus 1 factorial plus 1 when divided by P, the remainder equal to 0. Substitute P equal to 19 here. When you substitute P equal to 19 here, you will get 18 factorial plus 1 whole divided by 19 equal to 0 as a remainder. Now, send this one to the other side. So, 18 factorial when divided by 19 will give you minus 1 as a remainder. But whenever you get a negative remainder like this, we need to add the divisor to it to convert it to positive. Therefore, when when 18 factorial is divided by 19, the remainder equal to 18. Next, again we need to substitute P equal to 23 here. So, 22 factorial plus 1 whole divided by 23, the remainder equal to 0. Then how do we simplify this? Send this plus 1 to the other side. And also write this 22 factorial as 22 into 21 into 20 into 19 into 18 factorial whole divided by 23 is equal to minus 1 as a reminder. That means plus 1 was sent to the other side. Now, when you divide 22 by 23, what could be the reminder? The reminder is minus 1. So, minus 1 as a reminder. It will give you minus 2 as a reminder because this is 2 less than 23. This will give you minus 3 as a reminder. 
this will give you minus 4 as a reminder multiplied by 18 factorial whole divided by 23 will give you minus 1 as a reminder. Now you multiply all the 4 negative numbers 4 into 3 12 12 into 24 and there are even number of minus signs are there and the product will become uh, plus sign again. So 24 divided by 23 will give you a remainder of 1. Therefore 18 factorial when divided by 23 will give you minus 1 as a reminder. So minus 1 you have to add 23 unit so that which will give you 22 as a reminder. That means the question is not yet over. Now we have to find the least number satisfies these two conditions. When n is a number when you divide it by 19 will give you a remainder of 18. When you divide it by 23 will give you 22 as a reminder. Now if you observe it carefully the difference between the divisor and the respective remainder the difference is exactly 1. Let us assume that the difference x equal to 1. Now I will give you another simple technique. So when the difference is constant between the divisors and the respective remainders the least number which satisfies the condition will be k into LCM of both the divisors 19 comma 23 minus the difference. Here k into LCM of 19 comma 23 is how much? Uh, that is the product both are prime numbers so we need to take 437 minus 1. So when you divide this number by 437 what is the remainder? So this part will become 0 minus 1 remains as it is so minus 1 as a reminder but when you divide a number by 437 you are getting a negative reminder means what we need to do we need to add 437 to it so which will give you 436 this should be the final reminder